Yo yo yo, what's up guys, it's your boy King Crayon and today we're going to be customising another money vinyl toy. You may have seen my video a couple weeks ago of me painting on one of these, uh, but if you're unfamiliar with them, these are basically just a blank vinyl toy which you can draw or paint on and yeah, customise it any way that you like. I've done quite a few of these in the past, I've done, you know, Prison Baby. Prison Baby. Then in my last video I did The Party Boy. Today we're going to be doing something completely different. I was contacted by Kick75 who is a trainer enthusiast based in Australia and he's asked me to customise one of these to look like him. If you're into trainers and mystery boxes, definitely go check out his channel. I'll make sure I put a link in the description below and I'll link his channel at the end. But yeah, let's jump straight into making this bad boy. Kapow! So I've been advised that you should sand down the money doll if you're going to be adding a proxy modelling clay to it just because it will grip to it a little bit better. I'm also just scoring it with the scissors just to give it a bit more of a grip, a bit more teeth when it actually adds the clay. I'm not sure how much has improved it but I've been advised to do it so be damn sure I'm going to follow that advice. So the modelling clay that I'm going to be using today is called Milliput or Milliput. I'm not sure but um, it, it looks good. Next we're going to take equal parts of the epoxy modelling clay and then we're going to mix them together and this kind of starts the process. You have about an hour before this gets very hard. So yeah, you've got to kind of work quickly with this stuff. This video literally does no justice for how long this took me to do. It actually took me a couple of attempts uh, to get these trainers right. Uh, it dried on me a bit too quickly so I had to start this whole process again. These blue tools that you're seeing, I just found these on Amazon quite cheaply. Just had a whole pack of different um, modeling clay tools. And you know, these are really useful because it helps you to kind of get into those little nooks and crannies in between the legs to try and mold these trainers. And yeah, without them, I don't think I would have been as successful. All finished with the modeling side now. These are now rock hard and ready to sand down and paint. Um, I've got to say, this stuff is so good. Difficult to use. I think, yeah, you have to kind of get used to it because it, yeah, it dries quickly, but if you can kind of yeah work it into a shape, let it dry a little tiny bit, and then you can kind of mold it a bit more. I think yeah, with a bit of practice, you can get quite good at this. Um, I'm tempted to buy a load of these and then try and make like a bigger model and do it completely from scratch. But let's stick with these monies for a little bit, get a bit better with that kind of customization, and then move on to something like that a bit more ambitious later on down the line. But yeah, let's get on sandpaper in this because. Yeah, I'm very, very, very keen to start painting this. Let's do it. Pop! Yeah, boy. So all sanded now, um, which means we're onto the painting stage next. Uh, while I was sanding this, I realized that there is not really much of a gap between the legs. So I think doing like the night tick and the detailing is going to be well hard. But I'm a firm believer that you should push yourself out of your comfort zone and you only really learn by you know, making stuff really difficult for yourself and trying new things. So even though it's going to be quite a frustrating challenge, um, I know that I'll be a better artist because of it. Uh, it's quite an important aspect to have these Jordans look right. So I might actually start painting these, see how they turn out and then kind of go from up from the shoes upwards. Um, a bit of a weird way to start because normally start with the head, but I think that might be, um, yeah, maybe a, a different way to approach it. Yo, so we've made some pretty good headway with this so far. Uh, this is one of the trainers. I still need to add a few little bits to it. Um, obviously, I still need to do the one on this side. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of happy with how it came out. There's, yeah, a few little touch-ups that I still need to do, but I'm not going to do that till the end because I'm sure painting the rest of the body, I'm going to get a little bit of paint smudged in different places. It's very difficult to kind of paint in between the legs but because the gap is very small. So I'm a, I know that I'm going to make a few little mistakes and I'm going to need to do touch-ups at the end. So I'm going to leave this for now and I'm going to jump onto doing the head because this is, yeah, one of the most important parts. Let's do it. Boop.
my god, that was so frustrating, and I couldn't actually get it to look right. Um, I think it's because it's kind of shaped a bit like a monkey head. Um, so yeah, just trying to put someone's face that isn't spherical onto this kind of shape, it's always going to look wrong. But I'm pretty happy with it. I think Kick75 will be happy as long as I nail all the other features. Um, let me know what you think so far. Drop a comment below. And yeah, let me know how you think it's going on. What's up gang? So we're pretty damn close to finishing this now. I uh, managed to get both trainers finished yesterday, which was pretty difficult, but it's done. So now I just need to put the detail on the t-shirt, need to do the tattoos on the arms, and then we're done. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. Boop! All finished with this money doll now. What we're going to do now is we're going to put it together and see what it looks like. I'm, you know, I'm. This is the best part, really. So yeah, let's put it together. Hard to get that joint because there's so much paint on it. It doesn't look very much like him, but I think it's come out great. Probably the best I've done so far. But yeah, overall, I'm so happy with how it turned out. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've ever used this uh, mini put before and yeah, definitely going to use it again. I think I'm going to try and make, you know, a bigger model of the stuff. Big shout out to Kick75. Thanks so much for commissioning me to do this. I probably won't take on uh, another commission where I paint one of these to look like someone because it's pretty impossible with the head shape because you can see where the nose is, is where it dips in. But um, I, I will definitely do more of these. You can see there's a whole stack. I think I've got about another 10 of them back there, so there's definitely going to be more money videos on the way. Um, but yeah, let's jump into some super, super sexy shots of the final piece. Um, let's do it. Yo, so that's a wrap from me this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, big up Kick75, definitely go check out his channel. Um, he should be uploading the video very soon. It's actually been a good few months since I've sent this parcel, so it's with him now, and he should have opened it. So if you head over to his channel, either right now or very soon, uh, there will be a video of him actually unboxing this money, as well as a few things I've sent him. Um, I'll put a link right here as soon as it's up and I'll also link it at the end of this video so make sure to go check that out right now if it's up now if not next week um, I just also want to say big up spray days they sent me this t-shirt I didn't win that competition from the last battle video that I put up but I was up against some tough competition Guy McKinley took the win and he deserved to win that um, yeah if you're not part of the dopest most coolest sickest club in the whole universe the sub club make sure you go hit that subscribe button one hit notifications and then you'll be able to be the first person to check out any videos that i upload 
Thanks again, guys. I'm going to enjoy the weekend. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good pal.